Hey guys, what's up? How's it going? We are back and today we are packing for a six week trip to Europe in two backpacks. I definitely am going to have to take some of this stuff out because uh, part of my trip just changed. I'm going to be doing a little bit more hiking. So I need to like incorporate some more hiking clothes. This is everything laid out. So I have the shoes. I somehow need to bring those hiking boots, pants, shorts, skirts, sets, dresses and tops, underwear, socks, some scarves, all that good stuff needs to fit in this backpack, except for I can't use this much of the backpack so that it still fits as a carry-on size. And this bag, if I can pick it up, is going to be the other bag that I'm bringing, except for this is gonna be all for camera gear. Um, so I'm gonna be very limited on what I can put in there that doesn't fit in here. So I got some finagling to do. I gotta really get my Tetris on. I gotta get stuff taken out that I can't bring and put in the new stuff. And I will give you guys a full breakdown of how many bottoms, tops, yoga pants, what I'm doing, where it's at, all that stuff throughout the video. So before we get too far into it, make sure you subscribe, like, comment, share, do all that good stuff, and let's get packing. Okay, turns out I couldn't narrow it down too much because I'm just not good at that. Um, I will probably be better at doing it once I get to actually shoving stuff into the suitcase um, or the backpack. Um, so we're gonna start with these giant packing cubes and I'm gonna hope that I can get everything in the two of them and in this part of the suitcase. Um, I really don't foresee that happening, but here we go. Okay, I feel like this just helped me so much. So I'm gonna read out to you what I literally have laid out that I think I'm gonna be able to bring with me um, that now I'm looking at and I'm going, this is insane. There's no reason for me to have this much. So I'm going to be able to eliminate a couple more things just by doing this. So maybe try this out if you're struggling packing in a small manner or a compact manner. So I currently have a pair of hiking boots, one pair of Air Force Ones, two pairs of sandals, two pairs of jeans, one like flowy comfy pant, one set of pajamas, two exercise set, four pairs of shorts, two skirts, 12 tops, eight dresses, I don't know who I think I am, two jumpsuits, a cover up and a scarf. So I really need to knock down the tops and the dresses, I think, um, and maybe mix a pair of shorts, but We'll see, we'll see. Um, I'm gonna pull some stuff out though. I phoned a friend, so while I'm waiting for her to respond, I am going to walk you through where I'm going in Europe. It's kind of a spontaneous trip in the sense that a friend asked me to go a couple months ago. I booked the ticket, wanted to go. Then we didn't really like say where we were going because we just kind of like to fly by the seat of our pants. So we are starting in Ireland and we're gonna be there for like eight days all over Ireland. Then we're going to Switzerland for like six days and then we'll be in Amsterdam and Belgium and then we will be hitting Munich in Germany for Oktoberfest and then maybe hopping around there. Not super sure, just gotta get it all figured out. That's why it's hard to pack because I know half of what I'm doing. Um, and I might be going to Spain with another friend at the end of the trip. So. It's all kind of like crazy and confusing and all of that stuff. Um, that's why I'm having such a hard time, but that's where I'm going. If you guys want to see all of those vlogs and adventures, you know what to do. So, um, oh, my friend just messaged me. So let's see what she said and we'll get back to the pack. We've had a minor interruption. There's a wasp in my room. It's in my light. It's buzzing around. Oh, I can just see its legs on the glass and I hate it so much. How did this get in my house? Don't worry, I killed it with copious amounts of bug spray. Okay, there's been a change in the plan. We're not gonna go with these, at least right now that I know of. I got some of these like roll vacuum seal bags. They're way too big for the backpack, but I figured if I can do like that action, like pack them this way and then roll it closed, it'll be, it'll be just as effective. So. We're gonna try it out, we're gonna see. We're gonna actually get to packing now. I have taken some stuff out. I'm going to put a list on the screen very soon of what I actually did bring so that you guys can see all of that. But let's see if we can get all this into the bag. I fully intended on this video being helpful and educational to you. And really it's just turned into me being stressed. So we've called in recruitment and she's making it all work. Remember when I phoned a friend earlier? This was the friend I phoned. 
if I could, that's really hard to say. <laughs> Final result is this. It looks really silly and like not really small enough to be a carry-on bag when it's not zipped up, but all zipped up, it's gonna be perfect. And then I can like fold that top part closed. I honestly don't know if like the space saver bags are really saving me any space. And like one of those is gonna be gone after like the first leg of my trip because I'm bringing stuff to a friend. So it'll be like, there'll be way more space in there, but I'm hoping this works. It should be perfect. I've measured it like a hundred times. My hiking boots, I will wear onto the plane. And then those shoes right there, I am going to put in the top of my personal item bag here, which has all of my camera gear in it. Everything's like fit perfectly. I actually like it so much better than my camera bag. I just wish it had like, it was made to be a camera bag, um, but it's not. And it's like waterproof and stuff, but I do love this bag, but my shoes are gonna fit in the top of that. And then once I'm like on the plane and everything's settled, I'm gonna switch shoes and just like hang those from that bag. So everything's perfect. So somehow I managed to get everything to fit, at least everything that I felt was necessary. Um, I will let you guys know in another video um, what things I wish I wouldn't have brought. Normally I do that in like all one video. So if you guys are here for that packing video, this one is not it, but Make sure you subscribe before you leave because that video will be coming too when I'm done with this trip. I will do a whole video of what I wish I didn't bring or what I didn't find helpful or wish I had, which is normally what I do, but I decided to split it up this time, make things a little bit different. So make sure you hit that subscribe button, get this video a uh, thumbs up, give this video a thumbs up, cannot talk as usual. And um, yeah, I will see you guys in the next one. Bye.